Katusa residents will soon decide the fate of another school bond measure. Two News Oklahoma's Amanda Slee joining us live to explain what it will pay for and how it would impact taxpayers. Hey Amanda, good afternoon. Hey, Justin. So typically when a school district asks voters to approve a school bond, taxes stay the same. But if this school bond measure gets approved, taxpayers in Catoosa will see an increase. It's a $9 million bond issue um, that uh, we're asking our community to vote on uh, so that we can finish the building how we um, slated to, 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 to complete the building. Last February, voters approved a $52 million bond to build a new elementary school, but the district realized they had to eliminate 14 classrooms from their plans to stay on budget because of inflation, construction costs, supply chain issues, and rising interest rates. Now they're asking for this additional bond to add those 14 classrooms back into the plan so they can have all elementary students under one roof and get rid of the 82 year old Helen Paul Learning Center building. It's a great building, uh, but to be in a uh, what I would consider a very stellar, a world class, innovative type of setting for our kids, I think it would be a, a phenomenal experience for them. Katusa Superintendent Robert Shornick tells me that if this bond were approved, they would be operating and maintaining three buildings instead of four. Now, several parents I spoke to this morning didn't want to go on camera, but tell me that they didn't know much about the bond. And when I told them about the rise in interest uh, or taxes, I mean, they weren't too excited about that. The district is hosting a community forum tonight at six at the dome to answer any questions people have about this bond before it goes to a vote on February 14th. In Katusa, Amanda Slee, 2 News, Oklahoma.